I've invested heavily in crypto, NFTs, and other digital assets while I was married to my spouse. What will happen to these special assets in the event of a divorce? Hi, I'm Sergio Cabanas, attorney at law here in Florida, and today we're talking about the volatile world of crypto, NFTs, and other digital assets in a divorce case. Now, there's a lot of people out there that think that these assets should be treated differently because of the non-physical nature of these assets. However, the truth is that they're treated like any other asset in a divorce case as we go through a three-part process. The first part of that analysis is trying to figure out if the asset is marital versus non-marital. If the asset was acquired during the marriage or if you invest it using marital funds, these assets may be considered to be marital. Conversely, if they were acquired before the marriage and you never invested any marital funds in these assets, then it might be considered non-marital. So now we get to part two of our three-part analysis, which is how to determine the value of that marital portion or that marital asset. Finally, we get to part three of the process, which is how to resolve these marital assets. So the portion determined to be marital will then be subject to equitable distribution, which can be resolved in a number of different ways, just like any other marital asset. So if you find yourself in this situation or potentially in this situation, think about trying to protect these assets, both the physical assets and the digital, with a prenuptial or postnuptial agreement. We talk about these options in other videos. Of course, like any other issue in a divorce, the details are important and you should have an attorney that is experienced in handling these digital assets to ensure your rights are protected. I hope this short video provided you with at least some general information on this very important topic. Thank you again for watching and as always, stay informed so you can stay strong.